just like to uh, welcome you to my workshop. This is um, a play test which is being regularly updated. So things are changing all the time. Um, so things could go wrong or things could, you know, might not work the way they're supposed to. That's all part and parcel of uh, a play test to work out what works and what don't work, what bugs there is and what bugs there ain't. But uh, you can see it's well detailed. Not quite sure what this table's for, but here we've got a uh, beautiful lathe, which you can see is locked, I haven't used that yet. I've done a few bits and pieces, but not too much, just to just get the hang of things. Uh, I've got the painting table there, and you can hang things up there to spray them. There's a little work table here. Use that for like putting scopes on guns or lasers and that. Here we got uh, a sandblaster. And get all the rust and everything off. Got a drill here. Another little workstation here. And in here is some um, chemical room. bits of metal that want uh, cleaning we can uh, put them in the acid we've got all the gear there we can uh, apron there to put on face mask got gloves everything we need to protect ourselves a grinder there yeah as well well equipped. Uh, not sure what this is. It was a milling machine. So this would probably milling, hmm. making gun parts, drilling barrows. I've well, got that to find out. There's storage there. Over here we've got the woodworking table. Make new. Uh, butts for the guns there's some timber over there, some spare wood there's some short ones there short handles and this table here this is the assembly table we dismantle everything and reassemble it and cleaning station there This would be the goods in and goods out. So if I accept anything, postman leaves it there for me. And this is where I collect it to. Or I pick it up from there and put it on this table here. Got a gun safe here. I've already bought one gun. A carbine. Cold water drink there. Yeah. We get thirsty. Well set up. Plenty of room to move around. A little squashed. It's the car there. Here's the computer. If we go into there, we can see what jobs is available. So we've got messages there, we've got that's what jobs are available. We'll buy all the equipment. That's usually uh retrofit is um mainly lasers and scopes. Um bidding auction, I click on there. There's anything there I like. I can highlight it and make a bid. 
So I bring that, say that one there up. I can place a bid. I decided to bid on it. Um, on this side of the computer, on the bookmark, I got guns that. Uh, Clients have sent in, and I can accept or not accept, the case may be. And messages <coughs> Grant for, um, who's Grant for? Oh, sorry. He sent every so often, um, yeah, he's got one there, got one there, he just sent me this one. Um, it's me, your grandpa again. I got another weapon, as promised. You will need to work with the sandblasting cabinet and bluing station. So remember to always put gloves and protective suit. Oh, the bluing station, that is where the chemicals are. That's that chemical room. Really, I said the acid is. Uh, remember to always put the gloves and protective suit. Doesn't matter what parts you do. There's once was a time where I didn't do it. And do you remember what happened? Bad things. This time it's an AK-47. Yeah, it's an AKM. That needs refreshment. Check it. Check this rifle and let me know when you finish there's instructions inside just as they were with the Colt yeah that's one I did earlier I think that's where he yeah, emailed me back and said an amazing job um, never used a sandblasting cabinet I've used a bluing station I wasn't too bad that's going to be a bit different but what I was thinking um, Laura always she just gives me information keeps me up to date um, there's a new place you can go test the weapons out but and then this one she's just telling me about the bid auction just sends me a message every now and then just to make sure that I I know about everything and I haven't forgot anything but what I was thinking I say I'm going to start with something simple but then it probably no need for rails anymore um, we'll start on, on this one I'm, I'm still learning the trade so I'll accept that I'm still learning the trade so don't expect everything to run smoothly I'm still learning um, this is where they come in I don't expect everything to run smoothly like I said it's a play test so sometimes they don't Things don't fit like they're supposed to, or go to according to plan. Right, put it on the table, on the blueprint. Always get a blueprint with every gun. The only fault, but I would say, that blueprint is a little bit off the front. Of the, it could be brought this way a little bit, towards the front of the table. That would feel easier for me. But I think they've done it like that because some some of the blueprints come down here like this where you've got bigger guns and you've got um, more parts. I must remember that name too. Macrovo, Mac, 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 uh, Mac I don't know. Right, let's start here. I said I'm still learning my trade, so um, 
that looks like it's on the other side. Oh, it's on there. That one there. Take away the spring. I've got a clip. Some bits in there. Now I've got anything. Oh, there is. There's a pin there. Firing pin. Anything else? Right, what's on here? Let's pick this. Pick the gun up a minute and have a look. Whoops. Closer. A small gun with small part, a uh, few parts, small parts, few parts, but I might have picked the most awkwardest one. Um, where should we go? And up here to the right, it's telling me I've got these three things left to do, so I've got three left to find. The trigger is going to come out. Triggers. We've got two left to find. What have I got to look for? Extraction pin in. Oh, rear sight. Rear sight's on this one. I would have thought. That doesn't come out, does it? Nice, it does. Now we've got extraction pin. Where would that be? Right, soon tell you, it's up there. In here, it's there. Right, now we just wait a few seconds, that's it. It's telling us it's three dirty, oh no, three broken, there's three broken bits. There's five bits missing. Nothing. Is there anything dirty? No. Find new ones. And they're broken, so there's going to be eight pieces to this gun. We'll leave now. There was no cleaning to be done. But there's buying to be done. Right, let's see. Eight. Two, four, six. Oh, nine pieces. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Now, right, if we go to the stock and barrel, we want trigger guard. Trigger card. I must remember that name. Trigger guard for that one. That's trigger guard. One of them. Magazine top part. And a mag. No. Then what am I on? Dead. It's one of them. What else do we need? Magazine spring.
drop this down a bit so I can see. Got a pint. Oh, there it is. What else do we this? Mag magazine. Well, magazine's not in this gun's not very good, is it? Magazine. Bottom part. Oh, it looks like somebody got snow. Um, what am I looking for? Magazine bottom part. Uh, top part. Where's bottom part? Bottom part, bottom part. Bottom part. Right. Now I'm looking for a magazine. Now I'm looking for a magazine. Magazine for an AK. There's a magazine for a Colt. Magazine for M4. Why can't I see a magazine? There are two. Oh, there's two here. Magazine, magazine. Okay, what if I. That's a magazine, most part. Try this. Um, let's just try and bring up magazines because done that, done that, done that. So we just want to need a magazine there, don't we? Let's just look for a magazine. No, that's not going to tell me that, is it? Magazine? Is it going to just tell me just magazines? No. That means I was. That means I've just gone right past it then. So there's why can't I You could probably see it and you're probably sh shouting at me, but I can't see it. And there it is. Oh, he went past it three times. I do apologise for my slowness. Um, hammer spring. Don't worry, it all comes with old age. Hammer. Hammer spring. Hammer spring. Now what am I looking for? Trigger safety. <coughs> Trigger safety. Good thing about this is you don't really have to spell the whole word, if so it will pick it up quite extractor. This should come up. Extractor, extractor. Not extractor pin. Extractor there, that one. And then what we're looking for? We're looking for a shear. Looking for a shear, shear for that one. Right, if I go into here, when I buy all this, 
Oh, excuse me, I have to cough. I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> mm. and buy all that. I should have ticks in all the boxes. So I've done all that all right. Um, now I come out of here now. And we go over here. Pick this up. Um, I go to this table. Brother keeps sending me text messages, he's getting all excited, he got snow. Um, so if I go in here. Um, now we got to click on these green bits. Um, yeah, I'll accept that, that looks alright. It's just checking off the order really. Order comes in. I unbox it, I put everything here, and now I'm just, you know, just like me picking it up, inspecting it, and saying, yep, yeah, that's the right bit. You know what deliveries are like, sometimes they don't get it 100%, so just checking it all off. Just to make sure we got the right parts. We got the spring. Alright, that's all done. Let me just wait a few seconds and the rag will highlight. Now we just give it a bit of a spray. Just a light oil, especially the new parts. It's easier to oil it before it's assembled. Especially this bits that's right. That's going to go in here a bit. Especially the bits that's right in the inside the gum. No, oh, just wait a minute. Oh, we've got to assemble. Are we? Yeah, that's what I thought. Twenty parts to assemble. Let's put this together first, and then we want the pin there. Put the pin in. The firing pin. We call it a slider pin. Oh, I think I must have just put in the firing pin. Um, that piece there, and then that piece there, the back sight. Now, drop that down, put this trigger together, put the guard. that in. What have we got? No, not the back spring. This here to do. Right, this uh, that on there. That fits on that fits on there. And that fits on this side inside. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. So I'm still learning my trade. Got a long way to go yet. Put the new spring in. And that cap goes on the end. That's right. And then this here. Uh, over there. There it is. Goes up there. That's the hammer, is it? Receive. Yeah, that's the hammer. Um, that's the receiver. Put the back spring in. Put the cap on. Slider, uh, yeah. We 
grip of the spring. Now the bar Yeah. No should no we should really put the barrel on. Yeah. I'll put this on. Put that screw in the back. Job done. It's looking all right. It's not looking too bad. Finish that. Oh, don't often do this job. This does get me a bit confused sometimes. It's just testing and making sure everything's working inspecting everything that looks all right I'm gonna charge the gun now and pull back the hammer uh, pull back pull back the hammer pull back safety Pull the trigger. Is there three notches on that? No. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Um. Let's charge that again. There is one. No. 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 Semi. So, oh, semi put on the trigger. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still learning my trade, so you have to forgive me if I, to those who know, I'm look like a bit of an old fool messing around here, but I'm willing to learn. I'll get there. Um, send that back to the client. It's the job we just done. Alright, let's go up here now and uh, send that. We need to go gunsmith, we need to go current job, and we need to send that. And what do we get? 150 quid. Send that back. And we've got 2,700. Um, oh no, I didn't need to go to gunsmith, did I? Yeah, that's been there for a couple of days. So I'm tempted next time to have a go at that. And I say have a go because I've never ever done that before. I've done the bluing station, but I've never done that. So that would be something different. I'm not going to accept that yet. Um, let's go back. Don't push no wrong. Well, that's an insight to uh, to gunsmith. I say it's not available yet. We're, it's still in, you know, still being tested. Still, te uh, you know, some um, we're test playing it, and they keep adding updates, you know, to improve things, make things a bit smoother, and get rid of all the bugs and. So they have a full functioning game when it comes out and probably there's still going to be a few bits and pieces, always is. Nothing works perfect. Uh, we don't live in a perfect world. 
but um, it's looking really good so far I mean if you're looking at the graphics and you might have a bit of a gripe about like this that I am using a, a machine that is 12 years old my computer is 12 years old I, I got one of the first i7s that came out it's uh, i7 970 <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry so it's one of the first computers I had well one of the I got one of the first um, I don't know if I got the first but I got one of the first i7s so running what 4 gig is it well, I'm ten, running a 1050 Ti on the graphics card my processor is an i7 970 which is uh, tops at 2.4 gig um, gigahertz something like that if that's what, how you say it so you know if you're looking at the graphics and you think ooh, ooh, that's the reason I keep planning to get another computer but they're not cheap I mean the computer I'm running now I mean 12 uh, 12 years old it is and 12 years ago it cost me nearly 1400 quid 12 years ago never upgraded it the only thing I've upgraded is the RAM and the, the graphics card but I hope like you know you like what you saw I will be doing another one so uh, thanks for watching and take care